Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Webflow Enthusiasts this quick tutorial we are making your workflow design live Join me for a fast and easy guide on how to publish your Webflow website in 2024 Ready to share your creations with the world? Then let's get started So before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys in this specific video we are going to walk you through the steps on creating a website and then making it live on webflow so simply the first thing that you need to do is to log in into your website so go right here create a new site just by clicking on create new site and here since i have already a website i would like to remove this one so i have to remove it simply i think on the bottom or somewhere here uh, duplicate and publish yep by unpublishing it so it was through the archive guys now after I have removed it I can create a new website so here I'm going to new site and I'm going to simply choose one of the templates so let's go with the free one that is gonna be somewhere around here so let's go for example with this one I'm going to select it give the website a name for example I'm gonna name it tutorial publish and here we go so simply now just click on create sites and your site should be created in a couple minutes maximum of course uh, normally it will only take a few seconds so this is the best part about webflow it only takes few seconds and here you go so now you have your own website right here with pictures with designs with the uh, layouts that you can actually use right now so as you can see guys in this picture here we have let's say for example that everything is done and we need it to be ready to go so we need this product to actually start to be um, like working to be published and everyone can see well to do so the first thing that comes to mind is to publish it well yeah it is true we have to publish it have to do so you have to click publish and here as you can see you have to click right here so choose one of these domains to be your domain so you have two options either to use the domain which is basically going to be something webflow.com so for example if I went from an incognito page window so here we go this is the web page and as you can see it is not really functioning it is not how we want it to be this is the design let me just remove this here we go webflow.com the page doesn't really exist and here as you can see publish few seconds if I click right here well then I will have this website so here it is my website here it is functioning we have pages we have everything that we want we have for example this dashboard export data create report we have everything and it is live but sometimes you want to publish it with a premium uh, account or with a premium domain which is basically your own domain you don't want something to be tutorial published webflow.io while you are having your own hosting for example as a website or your own article website or something like that or your own brand you want it to stand out you don't want the brand of webflow to be included on your website at all so in this case what you should do is basically to get the premium version because the premium version will allow you to do two things which are the most important things here you will get removed of this domain name and at the same thing same time you will get to publish your website with this this marker here which is made in webflow so to get the premium version you simply have to click on add a custom domain from this section or this area and then you will get the like basically these plans that you can use so here there is two plans that can be used as a premium version or you can even go much further and get the business plan but for now we're either gonna be with basic CMS or business so for adding a custom domain it only takes $14 to do so because here as we can notice $14 basic allows us to actually add a custom domain as you can see so if you are only looking to remove the watermark and have some basic 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 feature from webflow then basic plan is the best one for you since you won't need CMS items you will not need content management system for collections or items so in general you would not really need to 
and in case you will had like submissions form submissions well then you have to decide are you going to receive more than 500 or more than 100 submission well then in case you would get more than 500 submission then you have to move around to the cms plan which will give you up to 1000 submission per month three content editors and etc and in case of course the model is perfect you have to get more bandwidth and more uh, server uh, capabilities so you can consume more customers and visitors for example with the basic you can get for 20 25k uh, on the other side or 250k i mean and on the other side for the starter you only get 1k visitor so if you were going to use workflow for a real project that's gonna be blowing people getting people to get to your website checking it every day and another and you might think that there will be more than a thousand people at once visiting your website then at this time you will really have to consider getting a premium plan otherwise your website will simply get shut down simply but simply just by getting like 800 percent 700 percent to visit your website you always have to leave that kind of like saving space for your website to function so people can actually click here and does do something but if the server is only going to get people there and to just handle people then it your website will not be functioning it will just be a page with nothing to click on so this is basically for the plans of course this is also uh deck to publish your, your workflow that i owe you have it on every single plan from the starter to the business but as we can see here to remove the workflow batch and to get a custom domain while publishing your website you have to get either the basic the cms the business plan so these are the three to go for in case you would like to go professionally with a custom domain and to remove the workflow badge badge from your site otherwise you simply have to create your website design it as you want and once you feel like you are ready to go you can either click here and click to publish right through here go or either even go to your dashboard where you can find all your sites click here on your site go to the settings and simply click here to publish it choose the first domain and then click on publish to the selected domains so it is as simple as that nothing complicated more than or nothing complicated about it it is very simple so once more you simply have to go to your website and decide if you want it to be professional or not in case you want it to be professional and what we mean with professional it is basically by having a simple custom domain and of course to remove the badge mark of webflow in case you have these two criterias in your brain then you have to get the basic or the cms plans in case you would just want to publish your site then simply click on publish with the webflow.io domain subdomain so guys thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial